They are all in line. They're off in the Let It Ride. Away to a good start. It is sketchy and British Isles on the outside and King of Gosford all up and after the early lead and they're joined on the inside by Hard Headed as they race for that first turn. So it will be a hard scent. Take me to church who rallies up to take the lead and take me to church has opened up the lead by two and a half lengths. Hard-headed running in second by another two. Sketchy is third early on. Then British Isles tucked in fourth with King of Gosford alongside in fifth. Promisio is next, then Cienwa. They're followed by Grogu, American Glory, and a break of another four back to Sine Quanon, the trailer. 22.18 was the quarter. 14 lengths separates the field and Take Me to Church leads the way on top by almost two lengths. Sketchy on the outside is second. And then it's hard-headed third down toward the rail. King of Gosford outside of horses, getting a good trip about four lengths off the lead. Then British Isles to the inside. Cienwa's got seven to make up. Then comes Grogu and Promisio to the inside. American Glory and Sine Qua Non. Around the far turn, take me to church on top. Three quarters of a length. Sketchy to the outside. King of Gosford continues to travel well while three wide. Hard-headed's going to cut the corner in fourth. British Isles in Cienwa now beginning to move on the outside. Into the final furlong, King of Gosford has taken the lead. British Isles tries to close the gap toward the inside. Take me to church and hard-headed between horses coming down to the wire. King of Gosford too good. King of Gosford wins the let it ride. Hard-headed was second and then came British Isles in third. And the favorite comes through despite that outside post and uh, approves that two turns is just fine. Perfect ride by Flavian Pratt. Yeah, and you asked me when we were originally looking at this race, Todd, you said, is it just the 10 and the rest of the field? And I guess I can say yes, because it was almost a blanket finish for uh, the rest of the horses, second, third, and fourth place. But there was no doubt about the winner, the number 10, King of Godsford, just kicking clear from the rest of the field. And this was a great ride by Flavian Pratt. He made sure that he was forwardly placed, but also managed to save some ground. Pretty much sat in about the two path throughout and then just letting him kick on here. He dominating performance at three to two. Yeah, and uh, went up a little bit. Uh, the horse that we said would come down a price is actually second, and uh, that would be the four, hard-headed, who uh, finishes a narrow second here at odds of four to one. Actually, would be the third choice because second choice ended up being the seven, take me to church at three to one. But 10-4 out the door, photo for third, here in the Let It Ride stakes. And after back-to-back -back races with upsets, it is King of Gosford coming through as the favorite and was as low as four to five, eventually drifted up to three to two. Final time for the mile, 134 and three. It was kind of a moderate pace early on with the half mile and 47 seconds. So they really picked it up. If you want to look at that final eighth of a mile from the seven furlongs in 123 and one to the 134 and three, coming home in 11 and two, King of Gosford. And this could just be the beginning of a really big Breeders' Cup weekend for Flavian Pratt. There's the entire order of finish. 10, 4, 9, 8, 3 to 2, over 4 to 1, over 25 to 1, over 25 to 1. Gabby, let's drone on a little bit more about this race and the ride by Flavian Pratt on King of Gosford. Yeah, look, this is not an easy thing to do. I know the horse is tactical and he has a little bit of natural speed, but you never know how this is going to shake out for you. If you can ask him a little bit and tuck in or if you have to take him back and make that move. But Flavian asking him a little bit and securing a spot in about the two path, which is exactly what you want. You don't want to go any wider than that. And then once he rounds the turn, I mean, he was in a perfect position. He had the jump on the rest of the field, and then he just pretty much laid it on here coming down the lane. Um, perfect ride. Not surprised. Flavian Pratt can take his talents anywhere in the country, and he's proven that so far this season. Yeah, it was uh, where he started in here in California, so he always knows this circuit very, very well. 10-4-9-8 in the Let It Ride stakes.
It's official 10 4 9 8. There are no changes in race nine. Post time 435. Returning to the winner's circle is King of Gosford, a three-year-old chestnut colt by Zalstar out of Miss Sugars by Harbor Watch. Owned by Benowitz Family Trust, CYBT or Nentwig and Partners, trained by Phil D'Amato, the winning jockey Flavian Pratt. King of Gosford was bred in Great Britain by the Miss Sugars Partnership.